Right now we have singer Evelyn Wanjiru who is now giving some more uh, marriage advice. This seems to be marriage advice it Thursday. Seems, okay? yeah. it seems. It's marriage advice Thursday and all the married women on social media have decided they're going to tell us how to keep our relationships well. Mm -hmm. So we have someone over here. She goes, uh, we, gospel musician Evelyn Wanjiru and she was like, marry someone who can carry the weight and the burden of your vision. Marriage is beyond uh, sex and bearing children. It is a disaster. It is disastrous to marry someone who doesn't show any interest in what you're called to do. She went on to say, as you're falling in love with him or her, also fall in love with their calling, profession, passion, and vision. Mm -hmm. You must discover yourself in your yourself, and your discovery will be the partner, uh, the parameter at which you make your marital decision. I like the fact that shows they're basically <clears> saying that like it's not all about just like love and it's not all about intimacy and you're in a relationship. You also have to look at, you know, their passion, their vision, their career, all of that and make sure that you guys are in sync. And that does make sense because a lot of times like in the very beginning you're just infatuated with the person. Oh my God, he's so amazing. Oh my God, he gives me butterflies. Oh my gosh, I love him. And then you realize, okay, so what's your plan in life? Where do you see yourself? Oh, you're still living with your mother and you plan on staying like that forever? Okay. You know, like you see yourself, like your your visions are not aligned and not yeah. going in the same place. And then you waste so much time because now you're in love and it's already like too <laughs> late and everything. So mm -hmm. now you're like l later on finding out that they're not the partner for you. Yeah. So I think here she was giving some really good advice and it is good to look at it wholeheartedly, mm -hmm. not just liking the person and being attracted to them, it's but true. also like, you know, what is their like plan in life and does it align with your plan? For sure. And this goes to everything. Every single lady who sat at home, every single man who sat at home, who's looking at someone exactly as they are, and you are in love with their potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, potential doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Joe always used to say, if this person stays exactly <coughs> this way for the rest of your life, or even maybe gets even worse, are you going to be able to handle it? Because that's really kind of usually what happens. Because the deeper you get into commitment, the more, I mean, we all relax, you know? We relax, and we, like, we stop working out, my hair's yeah. looking crazy. So we get more comfortable. Um, and, and I think um, something to tie into this as well is that somebody who's passionate about their, themselves, about their life, is more likely to understand your passions. <clears throat> yeah. You see what I mean? When you don't have anything going on with you, my career and my up and down is going to be a problem for you. Mm -hmm. But when you're so engrossed, into what you're doing and you're so hungry for your life to be better it will it will automatically make sense why I want the same thing yeah. so yeah you're right this was really good advice honestly this is the first time that I agree with all this advice that we've been getting from all these married women yeah because in all in in all with with due respect especially religious people they tend to have very good perspectives sometimes but sometimes they can lead you astray. So this is the first time, and I love the fact that they were very particular about the fact that she is a Christian. And she came out and gave advice, the right advice for, you know what? Let me tread carefully. <laughs> yes, tread. I will tread very carefully with what I'm about to say. And I will completely change what I'm about to say because I'm about to become very, very factual and passionate about this. Look, she gave very good advice. She did a good job. Yeah. I am proud of her. Yeah. And keep taking good advice. Good yeah. advice. Yeah. Good advice. Yeah. 